In this lesson, we will learn how to work with key ticks. Now, we've already taken a look at the key ticks option in Maya. I'd like to show you another way we can access it. It's super convenient. Again, if we want to focus on all keyframes of a selected object, we can make sure the key tick setting is set to active. But if we just want to pinpoint, let's say, one channel, or maybe just a few out of several, we can select them from the channel box, and those are the keys we'd be able to view at that point. So we'll use this to fix a part of the animation towards the end. You'll see that this rear leg over to the infiltrator's right side, it kind of slides in place from about 144 to 147. So what we could do is go ahead and animate the leg actually planting into this wall to keep the infiltrator grounded, so to speak, to make sure that it will be lifelike when he does shift from point A to point B. So let me go ahead and show you something. We know that we can access our key tick settings from the preferences, but if we wanted to, we could actually right click on the time slider, and from there we'd move to display key ticks, and there are our options. Now it's getting cut off in the video, it's right underneath playback speed. Let me go ahead and tear off this menu so you can see exactly what I'm looking at. So here's active, here's channel box, and there's none. What I'll do is go ahead and switch this to channel box, and then I'll grab the Move Manipulator, just to figure out the axis that we need to focus on. And that's the Z axis. Remember, make sure that your manipulator is set to local mode when using the Move tool. Just to make sure that you're actually seeing the axis that will be modified in the channel box. So in this case, again, it's the Z axis. Let's go ahead and select the Translate Z channel so we can see its keys. Fantastic. So from this, I know that it's safe to go in and add a key in between 144 and 147 because we have keys that lock down the claw on those two frames. So let's say we do this. On about 146, we can go ahead and again grab our move tool. We'll translate it out. That way we can create an arc when that claw plants in. And watch this, when we scrub, you'll notice that it will move out and away from the wall, and then it will press down hard. And that'll give the infiltrator a really nice grip to stay on the wall. Cool. So this is just a simple example of how beneficial key ticks can be. Once you start to get more comfortable with the animation tools and animation workflows inside of the software, I think you'll start to use this more often when it's time to fine-tune your work just to create something that's very well polished, entertaining to watch. And this option, yes, though it might seem kind of minor, it really is helpful in achieving that really polished look that you can be proud of.